Hey, y'all. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Emery is really sick. You can't do the talking thing very well. <laughs> I'm gonna talk for Emery because he can't talk. I'm gonna just read what we wrote because we, I just don't have the energy to do what we usually do when it comes to videos. So I'm just gonna read it to you. We're not even sure how to start this video. Let's start with an apology. As we have said many times, we really, really, really regret our language in last week's video. The your in front of the V word was careless, poor editing, and poor judgment. We've done nothing but apologize for the insinuation that anyone watching these videos would identify with those words. Um, to be clear, we're not trying to take back those words. We were just trying to discuss sex in a clear and distinct manner. Um, we have committed and continue to commit to being more careful about our language and more specific in our trigger warnings in the future. But like we've been repeating this since Tuesday um, and that's not what we're here to talk about. This week's topic is actually safe spaces and environments because unfortunately the conversation we have been having with Finn and other members of the community went from constructive to dangerously unsafe emotionally. We don't think that the people who called us out initially on our language intended or purposefully started all of this. In fact, Finn has been really great about calling people out if and when it goes from constructive to unsafe. Um, we are going to show you a few of these comments now. We are not going to comment on them. Um, we are mostly showing these for the people who don't believe that this conversation has become unsafe. Um, a lot of these comments include ableism, gender policing, and some sort of like trans asterisk phobia. That's not really a word, but you can look at the comments for yourself and decide if that's an appropriate statement. If you want to read the comments, you can just pause the video. For a lot of us who don't identify with the gender we were assigned at birth or the current binary system, we have lost a lot of family and a lot of support. And we know that this is the same for a lot of binary trans people, but non-binary trans asterisk people are also losing their safe space on the internet. People are trying to take away the words they use to describe their body and their identity like trans with the asterisk and FTM. Um, we get misgendered purposefully in a community that is normally all about respecting pronouns. Um, and this is not the first time this has happened on this channel or in this community. When MQ talked about enjoying his trans experience on the cure for being trans week, he said he would not take a cure for being trans. Um, and because of that, he received so much hate in the comments he felt he had to privatize the video. This kind of policing is not okay. You can't just pour hate into the comments until a video is taken down. So the only representation of trans people is what you agree and identify with. Um, not all trans narratives are the same. Diversity in the community is what makes us strong. Um, I honestly find it really hard to understand um, when people from the transsexual part of the trans asterisk community um, say that they're being underrepresented or misrepresented. There are seven other guys on the channel who are binary as far as I know. Um, seven other people who you think are real trans people who feel who you feel represent you accurately and you're part of the community. There's one video a week out of eight that represents people who fit under a different part of the trans umbrella. We're from a part of the community that until we joined FTM Transtastic had no representation in the YouTube community. We've been getting a lot of questions about our identity. We want to talk about our identity for a bit. Um, we do identify as non-binary, trans with the asterisk FTM people. Um, Non-binary is how we explain our internal sense of gender. Um, if gender were a spectrum and this was male and this was female, I would probably identify here-ish. Um, do you feel similarly? So we'd both identify here-ish if male were here. Um, trans, we use it as an umbrella term with the asterisk. Um, it's a term that we believe um, includes anyone who does not identify with the gender they were assigned at birth, and this includes people who are 
transitioning from the gender they were assigned at birth to any other gender, not necessarily the opposite gender. When I hear transsexual or transgender, it means the opposite gender, the other binary gender. Um, and then we identify as FTM because we are both female designated at birth people who are planning on physically transitioning, going from a female body to a male body. And I don't necessarily believe that there are female bodies and male bodies, but everyone is talking about how medically we're not trans people, we're not FTM people, but when you talk about it medically, we are going from a female body to a male body. And a lot of people are saying that we should have a different word other than FTM because it doesn't, it's not how a lot of FTM people feel. Um, but we feel that we're having the same experience as other FTM people. We're also seeking hormone therapy. We're also planning on getting top surgery at some point. We do have a different internal sense of gender and that's why there's a different word. We don't identify as transsexual because we have a different internal sense of gender. There is a different word for that, but we have this, I feel like we have a very similar experience to other people who identify as FTM. We want to go, like, we go to the same programs, we go to the same doctors. We're FTM. <laughs> I don't, I don't, I don't know how to say it. We don't believe in subtractive identities. We don't believe that us not identifying with a medical condition makes our identity any less valid. And we also don't believe that someone identifying with a medical condition makes their identity any less valid. Just because they're conflicting doesn't mean they're subtractive, and I don't understand why the true scum part of the community and some parts of the transsexual community believe that our identities are subtractive. Like, I don't mind that you think it's a medical condition. That's great for you. That's, it's your thing, but it's not our thing, and I don't think that our identities cancel each other out. You have people on the channel who agree with you, that's your representation, but there are also people in the trans community who agree with us, and that's their representation. We think, ultimately, if anyone tries to speak for the whole community, people are going to feel left out, underrepresented, or misrepresented. We're not trying to represent the whole community. We're not. Um, we don't think that anyone else on this channel is trying to represent the whole community either. That's why it's a collaborative channel. That's why there are seven other videos a week that you can watch, and right now, we feel like a lot of the negativity is drowning out um, the positive feedback we've been getting. And I think that part of the reason for that is it's a lot easier to speak out against something you disagree with, and it's a lot easier to insult someone or attack their identity than argue with their content. People who think we're not real trans people don't represent the whole community either. We've been getting positive feedback too. Um, from binary trans people saying they enjoy our perspective and think the hate we've been getting is poor representation of the community, and some from non-binary trans people saying they appreciate they have one-eighth of the representation on this channel. So yeah, we're not trying to misrepresent the trans community, we're not trying to change the meanings of words. I think that my meaning of FTM is very similar to other people's meaning of FTM. It's somebody who is female assigned at birth, who is looking to masculinize their body to get a male body. Um, we don't, we're not using the word transgender, we're not using the word transsexual, we're not taking those words away from you, from people who identify with those. We have a different internal sense of gender, and that's why we have a different word, and we're not when we say trans, we don't mean a shortened version of transgender, we mean the umbrella term that can include people who are agender or gender fluid and like they're not transitioning from the gender they were assigned to a different, I mean to like male or female, they're transitioning to a different gender and like that doesn't make them not trans, it makes them a different kind of trans and that's why there's the asterisk, that's why they don't identify as transgender or transsexual. So, I don't know, we don't have anything else to say. Bye. Mm -hmm.